and then we have this manage COA mapping. So why we need this chart of account mappings is uh, if let's say you have a primary ledger and secondary ledger, we will be discussing primary and secondary ledger what and why do we need it. But if you have different ledgers, primary and secondary ledgers, uh, those will be having different chart of accounts. If so, they have different chart of accounts. Then you need to map the values between two chart of accounts or let's say if you are doing financial consolidation uh, in those scenarios you will be doing chart of account mappings <coughs> so it is nothing but to map chart of accounts one chart of accounts to another chart of accounts let's say in one chart of accounts you have three segments company department and account segment and another chart of account you have company department account and uh, product segment or line of business or project any other segment so in one chart of account you have three segments and in other chart of accounts you have four or five segments then how you are going to map these two chart of accounts to bring the values to each other so in this you will be having a source chart of account and a target chart of account so if let's say <coughs> you are defining a secondary ledger your source will be primary and target will be secondary. So one can also define account rules as a part of chart of accounts mapping which further helps to map complete account combinations. Uh, I'll discuss what is this account rules. There are different types of rules that you can have. Uh, you can have account rules mapping and you can have segment rule mapping. So what is uh, the difference is let's say you can map from one combination to other combination let's say you have one combination 0 1 uh, department 100 account 1000 this is one combination in one chart of account okay now you want to map this COA1 is let's say company department and account then you also have COA2 which you want to map to you have let's say company uh, department account and product anything or let's say this is branch or anything whatever it can differ <coughs> over here you have values company can be 10 department can be 001 account can be 1111 product can be 500 so this is your combination for this chart of account too. Likewise, you can have n number of combinations and you can have n number of combinations for chart of account 1 as well. One is you will map this value or this combination to this combination. So if let's say this combination has a, a value of 100, then if you map to this combination, the value will go here. Simple as that you are mapping from one combination to another combination now what is the drawback of this why you should not do this is if you take an example you will be having thousands and thousands millions of combinations just imagine how many departments accounts companies you have so you have n number of uh, combinations so it is not feasible to do this you cannot sit and map every each and every individual combination you can have so many uh, permutation combinations for these <coughs> so that is why then you can have a second type of rule that is segment rule mapping okay so what is this segment rule mapping is
So this is just the features and all given over here. Uh, ability to create relationship between a source chart of account and a target chart of account. And this is accomplished by either by segment unit, segment rules or account rules. We just discussed the account rules or a combination of both. Where is chart of account mapping used? So it is used from posting uh, ledger entries from your primary chart of accounts to your secondary ledger chart of accounts. All these things you can use it. And then this is our segment rules. So you can have different type of segment rules. You have assign a constant value, copy value from or use roll up rule. So one is constant value. Let's say if you are mapping, you have company, you have department, you have account over in your uh, first chart of account that is your source so over here you will say company first one is over here is assign a constant value so whatever it is whatever company it is in target assign a constant value let's say over here company is 0 1 but in target when it goes assign a single value as 10 like this you can give a constant value to it if department any it can be 100 it can be 200 values can be anything but in target let's make it as uh, 001 or anything any value you can give Cop uh, assign a constant value <coughs> then this is your always it is going to be same like you do not have a product segment over here so what I will do for product segment is you will assign a <coughs> constant value. Let's say you do not have product signal. Let's say for pro, uh, all the products, make it 000. Because I do not have product segment in chart of accounts 1. How am I going to bring it? I'll just say to the system, wherever product is there in the target, make it 000. So assign a constant value. Then you have copy value from source let's say you are having the same value sets or same values in both your uh, value sets in your source as well as your target let's say for account you have same combination same values 1000 for assets 2000 for liabilities 3000 for expenses and in your target you are having the same values so what you will say is, say this, uh, tell to the system, ki copy value from source. So you will select copy value from source means it will copy all the values what is there in your source. So you do not have to give anything. And then the third is use roll up rule. So for this, you need to have the hierarchies in the system. Or you can uh, roll up like this also. Use roll up rules means let's say uh, you have three departments 100 200 and 300 in your source and you have a target in target you have only one department what you want is you say uh, to the system uh, 100 200 300 roll up to 0001 department in the target so all these departments should roll up to one department in your target so this is your roll up rule you can give us from value low value and high value over here so like this you can define your segment rules <coughs> so it is very easy to define your segment rules and this combinations it is very uh, difficult because you cannot define each and every combination so now I'm going to go to the system and I'm going to click on this chart of account mapping you had the same thing in EBS also same uh, account combination rule and all this
Yes, similar. Yeah, it was quite similar. Then you can click on add over here and then let's say EY COA mapping and then select your source over here EY COA instance and then target I'll select any of these I'm not very sure what are the segments in each of these so let me select anything it has same thing select okay let us select this only and over here then you will be selecting copy value from source not assigned is default it is coming uh, you can select constant value or use roll up rules assign single value means So you can assign a single value. So all the values in your company in your uh, target will have this 0, 01. Department use roll up rules. So you can select department source segment and then what all departments you want to roll up and where you want to roll up. So you can select target value over here let's say uh, finance department or whatever you want to select the target give the condition between equal to or last descendant of let's say between you can give the values over here between let's say 100 to 500 I'm not sure if these values are there in the system of this target chart of account uh, but this is just to show you so like this you can define your uh, roll up rules so everything between 100 to 500 should roll up to 000 or you can give assign single value or if you have same thing assign copy value from source account let's say copy value from source where which segment account segment and then save it so likewise you will define this segments and then you have a <coughs> account rules mapping over here you can define your combinations source and target so you will decide your target let's say company department okay and then source add field you can select a multiple combination also if you want multiple uh, values to go from your source to one target that also you can do let's say five combinations in your source will become one combination in your target so that also you can define over here so if you select between over here you can enter two values for department let's say from 000 to uh, 100 or whatever 900 so you can select that values over here and for account what account you want equals you can give between you can give anything what you want let's say asset account so like this also you can create this rule so all the department values will go to this one particular combination so multiple values this is many to one mapping so you can have many to one mapping as well